Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenternh.com, and today we are doing one of the most requested videos we've ever had. This is the ultimate Sonar SQ2 shootout part one. Today we're going to do six different drum sets, all the same size with beech, birch, and maple shells in different thicknesses. I know a lot of you have been thinking, well, I you know, want to place an order for my dream drum set, but I don't know what this particular shell sounds like versus this particular shell. And this video is here to try to help demystify or further confuse you when it comes to your personal choice. I know that that's what it did for me. What makes the sonar sound is not just the shell. Now the shell is obviously the most important part and it's important to note that the way that they manufacture their shell is completely different from all of the other brands. Most drum manufacturers have a predominantly horizontal grain on their plies, whereas sonar does all vertical cross-laminated plies. The shell is also undersized by about 12 millimeter. The drum head floats on the shell. There's a little bit of space between the edge of the shell and the hoop on your drum head. If you think about how a timpani head sits on a timpani drum, it's very, very similar. And there's no real distortion there between the hoop of the drum head and the shell. The end result is a very clear, uh, crystalline, idealized drum sound, if you ask me. All the lugs have a Delrin insert to prevent backing out, so these stay in tune for a longer period of time. And a nice aesthetic feature is that if you consider their logo, which is the two mallets, those mallets are on just about every piece of metal that you see here. If you look at the lugs, if you look at the bass drum spur brackets, floor tom brackets, you see a little nod to their logo. Very nice touch. The first part of this video is going to be us playing each of these drum sets in two different tunings. After that, we're going to be doing a true head-to-head -head where Tony will hit each drum for you to do a direct comparison. The snare drum that we're featuring today is the beautiful Artist Bronze. This thing is a beast. It's going to have its own video coming out soon if it's not out already. When it comes to drum shells, there are certain things that we've been told or led to believe in terms of what difference the wood or the thickness make in the sound. So what do these different materials sound like? Well, from what we've been told, maple is a warmer, rounder, fuller sound. Birch is a bit brighter and has a scooped out mid-range. Beach is probably the flattest sounding in terms of its EQ curve, so it has more mid-range and it's a little bit less aggressive and hyped. Does this translate? Well, there's subtle differences, and that's super important to note. You will notice that, especially as the drums get bigger in diameter, the differences become a little bit more noticeable. For instance, I don't think that any of the kick drums sounded similar at all. Those actually sounded quite a bit different to me. But, like the 10s and the 12s, you're going to hear it, but you're going to have to use good headphones or good speakers to really fully appreciate the subtle differences. Sonar offers thin, medium, heavy, and vintage. We're not featuring the vintage shell in this particular video that will come in part two, but that is a very thin shell with reinforcement rings. The thin shell is a five millimeter thickness. The medium is six and the heavy is eight millimeters thick. If you take the thin shell, you're gonna have a more open and more sustaining tone, whereas the heavy shell is a bit more straight, direct, and focused, and the sustained is gonna be a lot shorter overall. Where you really notice the difference between a thin and a heavy shell, especially, is on the floor toms. When you get into a thicker shell floor tom, what you'll notice is that the sound is a little bit more narrow, the low end is tighter and it's not quite as resonant. It has a very controlled, contained sound, and that could be great or maybe not what you want. 
One more thing I forgot to mention. The thin shell version of these kits have medium thickness bass drums. Sonar does not make a thin bass drum. They only make a medium or a vintage, and these have the medium.
effort to make sure that we give you the best chance of hearing these differences and so that we could understand the differences as well, it was an extremely exhaustive process of tuning all of these drums as accurately and as consistently as possible. We used the same heads on top and bottom for each drum, clear ambassadors top and bottom, which by the way, if you want to test to see how good you are at tuning, try tuning 16 inch floor toms with very thin shells, with clear ambassadors as low as they go, and make sure that they match with all six kits exactly the same. That's hard. The bass drums come with a clear Remo Power Stroke 3 on the batter and a fiber skin Power Stroke 3 on the resonant. There were 30 drums in total. We did two different tunings for the playing portion and then a third tuning for the head to head portion. So that's 90 different tunings, trying to make them all extremely accurate. For the miking, uh, the full kit, the high and the low tuning, is the miking setup that I use for virtually all of the DCP videos. All of those microphones will be in the description below. As for the head-to-head -head portion, I wanted to get a more organic and truthful sound that really zeroes in on the detail so you have the best chance of hearing all of these differences. So for that, I ended up with two microphones about 16 inches away from the center of the head for all of the toms. I have the Earthworks SR25 and the Audix A133. It just sounded great together, so it worked out. No muffling on the kick drums for the head-to-head -head portion. Two microphones placed completely by ear. So walked around, listened to what sounded the best and put the mics there and it was that easy. Many of you probably wondering, well, hey, what, what's your favorite? And it's hard for me to say. I'm always changing. I'm always liking new sounds. And oddly enough, 
beech has never really been top of my list. It was always birch or it was maple. And uh, today uh, I find myself really drawn to the beach. However, I could play any of these drum sets. They sound awesome. We also are really looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this. What were your particular favorite sounds? Did you like the birch, beech, maple? We'd love to hear what you have to say about that. In a perfect world, we will have the drum set in stock of your dreams that you are looking for. But if you want to custom configure a drum set, then that's what we are here for. So please come in or give us a call and we can help put together the sound that you're looking for. Also, again, please click that subscribe button so that uh, you get notified when we post new videos like this. And we really appreciate your support over the years. It allows us to provide these kinds of videos that make it easier for you to find the sound that you're looking for. We really appreciate it. Thank you.